In this tutorial, I'll show you a couple of ways to make your minecarts a lot more useful. What you're looking at right now is a booster section. I have a main track at the top that's going to be carrying me, and a booster track down at the bottom. Now when my main cart goes down a single slope next to a booster cart, they link together, pushing each other forward at maximum speed, and when your main cart leaves that booster section, you're going to travel at least another couple of hundred track sections, even uphill. Down at the bottom, I made that one about six track lengths long. You can make it anywhere from one to however long you want. They all work pretty well. At the very end of my booster section, you'll see I made a little loop that causes my minecart to reset itself so I don't have to set up that booster again. Here we have a track layout that's going to allow us to control what section of track a cart uses depending on which direction it's coming from. As you can see, when a track comes from the left side of the screen, it uses that upper track section, while when it comes from the right side of the screen, it uses the lower track section. It does this by jumping from the straight section of track onto that cornered section of track in front of it. Now we're going to combine the last two tricks so that we can get a boost regardless of the direction we're coming from. I just took the direction-based layout from the last example and added a booster section to each side. Using this, I'm going to get a boost whether I'm heading into my mine or on my way back out. Finally, let's take a closer look at exactly how this is laid out. God damn it. 